Hi Aries, welcome to your love reading. How are you? I hope you're doing fine. In this reading, I will be looking at your current energies, the person on your mind and other details. And at the very end of this reading, I will be looking at the new person coming in if you're single and looking for a new person. Also, if you're new to the channel, I invite you to subscribe because I post daily and you can check the schedule. It is in the description box below. Today is fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, tomorrow is um, air signs and so on. Okay, let's uh, shuffle five times and let's begin with the energies around you at this moment of time. What are the energies around you, Aries? Seven of Pentacles, Two of Wands. I think you are you're becoming a new, have become very, very upset and tired of waiting. You're waiting for some progress, some advancement. Some of you had some little progress, but not uh, such an important mile forward. And now you are thinking about uh, moving on finding something new, leaving the past behind. What is affecting you in your subconscious that you might not be aware of? Maybe they gave a sign to you, they showed some interest and they didn't follow up, they didn't uh, keep their promise or made any more moves or be more courageous. Some communication might have been needed for some of you as well. What was the main challenge? in the past. I think this was a faded event, but the cycle with you was closed. And one of you at least was trying to not close it, but the karmic contract that you had with each other with each other was already finished. And no matter how hard you both try to make it work, uh, the universe said very clearly that it just would make you both uh, feel heartbroken if you try to to change the trajectory of something that was said or some of you wanted to repeat the cycle but probably I'm getting that many of you had repeated several times this cycle and now this was uh, the moment to move completely forward and not repeat the same problems again and again your focus is to avoid somebody that might not be honest with you and might have lied or cheated and may have been a manipulator and you don't want to give the same person with the same behavior a second or another chance. You're hoping to connect with somebody that is emotionally available and mature as well and that has true feelings and deep love for you. And yes, you're looking for stability. You have grown up so much. Uh, you seem very firm in your boundaries you don't tolerate anything anymore you just want the best now before jumping to the new person that is coming in for those of you that are single and looking let's see first the person that is currently on your mind what are their current energies three of pentacles they have been talking about you to others possibly friends or family members they want to move forward through this. They want more cooperation. And they want to manifest this. But uh, their biggest concern is that this might not be successful. No matter how hard you both try again. So they want to be again with you. But they don't think this will be long term successfully. And you might have already gotten other chances and you have moved on already. And that's why they have been walking towards you, especially if you have noticed some signs that they have been showing you. But they have been walking very, very slowly. They seem motivated. They have desire and attraction for you. But they don't think this would last a long time and be happy. Or it might last... Uh, a long time but it would be very artificial and not harmonious this person definitely wants to reconnect but they don't know how to do that they haven't found the way the strategy on how to make a return 
and make things right. What is on their mind right now? They miss you. They want to meet you. Uh, they have strong nostalgia. Some of you dream about you. Are reminded in their dreams. So what is whatever it is in their subconscious is coming into their dreams. So their plan is to meet you. To talk to you, even as friends. But apparently they don't want that. What is the possible outcome in the near future? Uh, Queen of Cups. Why the Queen of Cups? King of Wands. Okay. Page of Swords. Three of Cups. There might be some reunion, some connection with this person. It is not telling me when, but it is possible. It is possible for you to reconnect and I do see a very passionate, intensive connection with a strong chemistry. It is not telling me if this will last, but there might be some encounter with each other. Let's see if we can get a time frame, even though time lines may be different for each one of you. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune. Now, I do have fixed signs here. Fixed signs. So it is Aquarius, Taurus, uh, Leo and Scorpio. So it might be in October for some of you. No, uh, November, o October or November. The earliest. I do have uh, Aquarius as well. So January for some of you. January next year. It might be at the entry of uh, the year 2025 or October, November, if we are on the same timeline. Okay, if you want to know even more details about this person, there's an extended video as well in the description box below with even more details about their current energies and your energies as well. Okay, let's continue with the new person coming in. What is the energy of the next new person coming in a very charming person romantic with lots of love and feelings they they seem to have a very pure kind of love for you but i'm not getting the most mature lover in fact sometimes at their worst they are kind of uh, they have paranoia and they have worries and doubts so they have feelings but somehow they might get jealous about you if you jump into a connection I think it will be you Aries with the Emperor that will teach a lot this person on how to act more maturely I don't see bad intentions from this person but let's see I don't see bad intentions, but I do see maturity. They have lots of strong attraction and desire to know you, but the moment they know you, or especially when you put those uh, firm, uh, not shaky boundaries, uh, they get upset and they may uh, turn their back. It is not because they don't want you, it is because they don't want how to deal with that. They are passive-aggressive. They are. Uh, uh, they had been cheated on, very possibly. This is a hurt person emotionally that has not healed completely from a past love story, and that's why they are very worried or have lots, uh, lots of suspicions and doubts. They fear being cheated on again. They fear being lied again, and that's why I think they might get uh, somehow triggered and those past not because you may do something wrong but all those insecurities might be triggered triggered during this uh, interaction what is the possible energy the first month of this interaction page of pentacles it will start to build slowly first you will start in a very friendly tone and vibe and then 
you may jump into a relationship, into a romantic connection. Okay, Aries, this was your general reading. I hope it was helpful. If you liked and resonated with this reading, please hit the like button and share the video. If you want, uh, it helps the channel a lot and I highly appreciate it. Also, if you want to, uh, if you don't want to miss the daily videos, and if you haven't subscribed already, I invite you to subscribe because I post daily. Thank you for watching, wishing you all the best, and I will see you the next reading. Bye for now.